the plan for today, I'm going to finish the history book, which I already have written up, and I'm just going to kind of plop it into uh, the the this book. Um, and then we'll kind of see from there. I don't know if anybody else is going to be on. It's currently just us. Um, I don't know if anybody else is going to hop on, but if not, we can just kind of go around, make sure everything's cleaned up, make sure we have all our our uh our things put away um so we can be like hey let's put all of our stuff into storage just so we don't lose it um for when the world kind of stops so to start off let's pull up the history books so that way I can finish this. Let's see. Also, how's everybody doing? How is it in the chat today? The bubbles. Okay. Let's do here. Got this. Um, don't think you're good. Glad to hear that. Um... How about on a scale from 1 to 10? 1 being not very good, 10 being amazing. Uh, I would say I am... I'm... Hmm, I'm okay? Glad... No, that's that's nice. Um, I would say that I am... Like a 7. 6 and a half. It's a very busy day. I got stuck in a meeting. Not stuck in a meeting. It was a fine meeting. But it was like a two-hour meeting. And it was very long. And so I'm a little bit tired. More tired than I should... That I... I'm a little more tired than I usually would be. Um, okay, so I'm just going through... What Kano wrote... Um, right. Let's do this. Because I'm also comparing, so I have a document that has all of the, uh, all of the stuff that I wrote for this book. And that Kano wrote for this book, but I need to basically copy it in. Um, and I need to make sure that everything that I have here matches. You know what? Let's read it and then we'll... Yeah, I'm good. I'll read it. I'll read it at some other point. I'll read it when I'm completely done because I don't want to. Um. Way I had anticipated. Yes. Sorry. I sort of swap proceeded. Mm 
story um that's an exhibition maintaining his personality and sure himself he's just... I wish I had somebody else here to chat with me but that's okay or at least somebody else in the call but I'm also fine. It this seems like just a a day where I'm just gonna kind of be mumbling to myself. I don't I don't know. It's a it's it's a situation. It's it's okay, wrong. Um tempted to return. He was able to do so for unknown reasons. Hi, Fred. Welcome. You know what? We'll read it. Okay. Uh, preface. Possession and spirits. Before I, Kano, can continue to talk about the nature of the virus and how Eden progressed, it's important to discuss some of the other more mystical elements of Eden. While some parts of this world are clearly understood, you kill cows to get leather, you grow crops for food, you use coal to smelt ores, etc. Other parts don't fit that fold, and Eden was especially unique. Especially was unique. During when <laughs> you got us. Yes, exactly. I got you guys. I got you guys. Maybe you guys can help me uh, figure out some conversation. During one of my first adventures in Eden, I managed to tame a fox and bring it home with me. I didn't have a name tag available at the time, but I gave him the unofficial name of Adam to suit the Faden of Eden. Once I started living with Mousy, I eventually brought Adam over to my new house, and he lived with us in our hut above our ravine home. Adam eventually moved into a fully built boat made by Mousy and lived there, at least until circumstances had. Now, Adam was far from the only pet in Eden. Seth had his dog, and others had animals they cared about they cared for but adam was very was special very special one random day adam suddenly disappeared it is undetermined if he died in his boat to suffocation or if he despawned uh if he despawned or if somebody killed him and never confessed but he was gone i think it's normal for anyone to be sad about the death of a pet and friend but my grief at that time seemed more dramatic than necessary in a world like eden it wouldn't be too difficult to find a new adam to keep me company to move on and find success in a different way but instead i took a similar an approach similar to how seth acted when his dog died later on while i didn't understand everything about the situation i couldn't imagine life in eden without adam i wondered if it might be possible to summon adam's spirit and bring him back to life the concept of life and death within eden seems simple if you died you died if you lived you continued for another day uh you continued. Yeah, for another day. Uh, in Eden, players could respawn after death, but not mobs or pets. So I experimented. Starting with a ritual, I sought a way to breach the normal rules of Eden and make something new happen. The first ritual circle consisted of mostly nether blocks. With soul sand generating in large quantities in the nether, this made logical sense to me. Once the ritual circle was completed, I performed the ritual alone and hoped desperately for something to happen. At first, nothing seemed to work, but there was no precedent to guide my actions, and I quickly discovered that the ritual had worked, just not the way I anticipated. Instead of bringing Adam back to his own life, while well, Adam came to, um, while instead of bringing Adam back to his own life, I was sent. It's not, yeah, instead of bringing, I was sent to the Aether, where Adam's spirit resided. Adam to his own life, I was sent to the Aether, where, oh, where he, okay, where Adam... Spirit resided while well, Adam sort of swap. Dang, okay. Let's grab this, remove that. 
uh, Adam's spirit in a sort of swap. Cool. Okay, at first, instead of bringing Adam back to his own body, I was sent to the Aether, where Adam's spirit... Where... Adam's spirit presided. While Adam came to live in my body in a sort of swap. Yeah. Now, since my spirit lived in the Aether during this time, I never witnessed the events that preceded my eventual return to my body, which initially wasn't too long of a time. Hmm. Now, since my spirit lived in the Aether... My spirit temporarily. Now, since my spirit lived temp temporarily in the Aether, I never witnessed. What is this song? Remove from playlist. There. Okay. I never witnessed the. Events that preceded my eventual return to my body, which initially wasn't too long of a time. In a moment of desperation, I took refuge in the Aether to keep Maddie from corrupting me, and Adam took ownership of my body. This next, the, this next part of the story belongs to him. Okay, chapter one. After the rituals were performed, Adam found himself inside my, Kano's body, without much of an explanation. Unlike me, Adam was very much aware of the memories that I had while still maintaining his personality. Adam showed himself to be a mischievous, clever, and devoutly loyal individual. On his first day, he gathered materials and interacted with the other in Eden, who had no idea where he came from, though they could deduce his connection to me because they had spoken so much about him. About him. Um, when Adam attempted to return to the Aether and swap back with me, he was unable to do so for unknown reasons. With help from the spectators of Eden, able to interact with its world from the outside, Adam made changes to the ritual circle, replacing the nether blocks with quartz and other similarly colored blocks, and was able to do the ritual in reverse. Um, uh, unlike Adam, I did not retain memories from the Aether, and upon returning to my own body, I had no idea what had just transpired. Um... Yeah. But this did not prevent me from trying to do the ritual several more times after this one instance, both because of curiosity about what exactly had happened with Adam and also because I was never aware that something of actual substance had happened. As, um, yeah, as dark Maddie's hours, uh, wait, that's unlike Adam, the Okano and... Adam had switched back at first. Ultimately, he spent just dropping. Ultimately, Adam's role became much bigger than he ever anticipated. Though Adam and Adam, uh, okay, you know, Adam and he. Adam's role in Eden. Not Kano's role, because it's Adam's role. Adam's role... Okay. Do not prevent me from trying to do the ritual several times after this one instance, both because of curiosity about what exactly had happened with Adam, and because I was not... not aware that something of substance had actually happened. Okay. Both because... As Dark Maddie's power increased, Adam's role in Eden became much bigger than he ever anticipated. Though Kano and Adam had switched back at first, ultimately he spent almost as much time on Eden as Kano, if not more. Okay, chapter 2, Adam's return. In the coming weeks, Maddie's strength continued to grow as her evil side took over. Seth, Mousy, Misty, and Nova were all confirmed to have fallen to the dark side, and the remaining neutral members of Eden were worried. Uh, while they had a number advantage still, the darkness was increasing... And there seemed to be no way to stop it. A series of smaller a series of smaller events led to an even stranger result. After being turned by Maddie, Mousy used the last of her willpower to provide hints to Kano slash Adam on what the dark side was like and specifically how the dark side people could be elevated to full evil status. Because Adam was from Eden, and the virus seemed to only affect those who had come into Eden, Kano theorized that Adam would be immune to the virus's effects. 
This was proven true when Adam was killed by Duck Manning and was not infected. To protect himself, Kano performed the body-swapping ritual with Adam's spirit and Adam remained semi-permanently uh, in Kano's body, though not entirely by choice. At one point in time, after Kano and Adam uh, had found a surrogate host body for Adam's spirit, Dark Maddie kidnapped the host body, which contains Kano's, which contained Kano's spirit, and Adam was left stuck in Kano's body for several months. Uh, amidst the threat of this virus, Eden would receive three more members who would end up playing lar a large role in figuring out the full extent of Dark Maddie's powers. Power. That, yeah. Since Adam was stuck inside Kano's body, he had little choice but to watch as the action around him continue. Chapter 3, The Two Sides. Once the Dark Side had received enough members, Dark Manning and followers created a new base of operations located by the fortress we first found in the Nether. Among the remaining neutrals, uh, Logan, Paramore, and a new player, Zack. Yeah, among the main neutrals, Logan, Paramore, and a new player, Zack, seemed less interested in the virus. Interested in the virus. Um, at one point, Logan permitted Tyser to use the stuff in his base whenever he felt like it because he didn't anticipate that he would spend much time, uh, much more time in Aiden. At one point, yeah. At one point, Logan permitted Tyser to use his stuff in his base whenever he felt like it because he didn't anticipate that he would spend much more time in Eden. Okay. Pink had a special vendetta against Maddie because of a role in turning her biggest ally, Seth, against her. She had the biggest investment in taking Maddie out and spent most of her time rallying the remaining neutrals to eliminate her. Adam remained in Kana's body and did his best to explore and serve others. Seth was set on becoming more powerful. Seth was set on becoming more powerful and believed uh, Mad the darkness Maddie provided would give him the strength he needed to implement his own goals. Maddie, from what I could tell, was mostly intent on converting others to her side. She spent most of her hours plotting with Mousy to try and figure out the best course of action. Uh, at the same time, she seemed hesitant to push her plans forward too much. Um, all, okay. Yeah, too much. Almost like she was waiting for the right opportunity. Opportunities to strike. Okay. Mousy, who originally was devoted to building projects, began spending more of her time equipping herself with better resources and serving Maddie were required. One such example of the service was helping Maddie create the Emerald City and man-made village for villagers. Misty had a similar transformation to Mousy, though it seemed the darkness had more adverse effects on her as she didn't return to Eden as often this time around around this time. Of all the Dark Side members, Nova seemed the least affected. As mentioned in the previous book, uh, Nova submitted to Maddie's virus willingly, and this seemed to impact how it influenced their decisions. While under the influence of darkness, of the darkness, Nova made one key choice. Shaping. Yeah. Tyser being one of the... Upon his arrival... Okay, this is where things start to change. Um. Okay. This is where I gotta fix things a little bit. Upon his arrival, Tyser was greeted and eaten by Adam. Though neutral, Tyser tended to choose chaos. Uh, chaos in any given situation. Um, and was prone to taking risks. This led to him, this led him to spend, to spend 
a lot of time with the Darkseid members, but they surprisingly never tried to convert him. Um, uh, I, hop I hypothesize that he was too chaotic for their liking. It's possible that if Tysar joined the dark side, Maddie would have lost some elements of her power because of Tysar's rebellious nature. With the two sides more or less in an unofficial war, it was clear something needed to change for one side to take the victory that, side that something was unknown. And only the antivirus. After a few months of dealing with the virus, Unknown contacted the remaining neutral members of Eden and asked them to meet with him. In a secret location, Unknown discussed the true nature of the virus and how he wanted it gone for good. He explained that using his power, he was able to create a sort of antivirus, one that would be able to remove the virus entirely from those uh, affected by his influence. He gave Tysha Pink and Adam the mission of finding the antivirus, but at the same time had alerted the dark side to his presence. It wasn't entirely clear who said he he was on. Uh, he wasn't. He yeah. It wasn't entirely clear whose whose side he was on until the last battles. But he offered more help to the neutrals as they pursued their quest. Why was the was this antivirus important? To explain more context is required. Chapter five. Adam's findings. While everyone else was focused on trying to live their lives in Eden, Adam spent most of his time trying to find the best way to bring Mousy back to the neutral side. As part of the information Adam found in Mousy's diary, uh, three essential elements were discovered. One, Maddie was the only one who could infect others with the virus because she was the only one who possessed full evil status. The others had the potential to develop that ability but never reached that stage. Two, if killed in their dark state, followers of the dark side would briefly return to their good selves. Uh, three, the returned good selves were very vulnerable, as they would not only remember, as they would not only return with no memory of their dark misdeeds, but would also become permanently evil like Maddie and Ginner powers if killed while in their good state. Four, it was possible to restore someone's evil self. Uh, Evil. Okay, it was possible to turn someone's evil form fully back to form to good. It was possible to restore someone's evil form to good if they were killed nine times in their dark form. This was later used to Adam's advantage. With this knowledge in hand, Adam decided to kill Mousy one day to bring her back to her good self and figure out a good plan of action. Just as she was, just as she was killed, Seth uh, came onto Eden, um, saying something about how Mousy's name, about Mousy's name being off. off and how he could fix that. How he could fix that. Um, this terrified... Uh, let me drop this in. This terrified both Mousy and Adam, which prompted them to go on an excursion to the far reaches of the world to be safe, as well as to perform experiments on Mousy and learn as much as they could about the and learn as much as they could about the virus. Okay. Um, Adam learned... Uh, Adam learned little from Mousy during the test, but a strange event caused Mousy to be in an almost ethereal state of mind. Adam was still able to learn more specifics about um, Mousy herself. Uh, about Mousy herself during the tests but a strange event caused Mousy to be in an almost ethereal state of mind Adam was still able to learn more uh, more specifics about the dark side's plans uh, after a few weeks of tests dark Maddie found uh, found Mousy um 
found Mousy and broke her free of her imprisonment shortly after they went into hiding because Unknown had announced that the antivirus sword was ready for action. This antivirus sword was able to eliminate all nine lives of a dark side follower and immediately return them to light, making it a very potent weapon. Uh, Unknown also revealed that if Dark Maddie were to gain possession of the antivirus, uh, she would be able to use it to immediately turn alleys fully dark as well as leave vanquish all life in Eden. The stakes were very high and the race had just begun. Okay. Now this is where I come in. Finding the sword. Okay. Chapter 6, Finding the Sword. And that was Chapter 5. Yep. Yeah. Chapter 6. Finding the Sword. Cool. I'm gonna plug things in. We have one more week left? Yeah, we do. Okay. Kano briefly was summoned to his body to explain to Pink what he had learned from Adam's experimentation with Mousy. Maddie, Seth, and Nova learned of Kano's return and began a manhunt against him. Pink and Kano soon confronted the trio who were convinced to back off. Uh, to save... Um, okay, let me... Great. Thank you, Kano, for the resub! How many months are you on at this point? 20 months! Been lurking, but just want to say hi. Hope the book transcribing goes well. Thank you, thank you. I... This is going to be a really... I keep looking at where the camera is, and then I remember I don't have a camera on today. Um, <laughs> uh, this is going to be a long book. There's eight chapters. So, no, actually nine chapters. This is going to be a very long book. Um, but that's fine. That's totally cool. That's totally okay. I am totally... I'm... This is what I signed up for. <laughs> we stand long books. Yeah. Okay. And I'm kind of going... Um, very digestible content. Yes. Okay. To save Kana from potential death from Maddie, Adam got brought back. In a twist of fate, Nova opened up to Adam that Dark Maddie didn't know where the antivirus sword was and agreed to let him kill them. It was a pursuit to find good Nova as both Dark Maddie and Adam... Uh... Okay, Dark, Maddie, and Adam. To help her. Okay. Maddie and Adam were trying to find where they were. Adam got there first, and Good Nova agreed to get us this. Adam got there first, and Gunova agreed to a new deal with him. They wouldn't help the dark side, but couldn't hurt them either. This in turn prohibited Nova from sharing information with Dark Maddie, and allowed them to help- allowed them to help Pink and her allies. To help Pink and her allies instead, Adam also gave Nova some gas tears, which were then used to make end crystals later on. Uh... While trying to converse with Dark Maddie, Adam was jumped by her Dark Mousy and Dark Nova. Uh, they demanded... They demanded that he switch back to Kano now that the kidnapped fox has been, had been uncovered. While Pink saved Adam, the fox's body was accidentally killed. And I remember that because I watched the VOD recently. I had to watch all the VODs for this. So I, the, the, I'm pretty sure the fox died. So that's what it is here. Um, Kano's spirit returned to his original body, though Adam was still in control. Um, through... We'll just drop this entire paragraph. Through his very vague hints, Unknown explained that the location of the sword was in the nether, somewhere they had both... somewhere they had been before. Both groups were given these hints, though Unknown had previously expressed to Pink that he would exclusively help the good side. Uh... After a grueling trip around the nether, Pink, Adam, and Nova discovered the location of the sword and were at a clear advantage. Unknown warned the good side that Manny needed to be killed last or there would be dire consequences. Using the sword, Nova was completely rid of the virus, adding one more member to the good side. Hold on. 
I'm gonna drop this, this here. Yeah. Uh, using the sword, Nova was completely rid of the virus, adding one more member to the good side. The question of Unknown's loyalty was still unclear. Chapter 7. Good versus evil. It's not wait okay not not even that one this line okay whoops oh no just play a prank which ended up okay. and here sesame Adam Okay. Following their restoration to neutrality, Nova used end crystals to play a prank on various homes, which ended up killing Seth's dog and exploding part of Tyser's house. Seth and Tyser then worked together to try to assassinate Adam, who was guilty by association. Uh, this ultimately... This ultimately allowed Pink to use the antivirus sword to free Seth. She used the sword on Misty soon after. Um... Toby was the third and final member of Eden to show up during wartime. The only thing Toby remembered was from from before Eden. Ah. Drop that in the wrong place. Remembered from before Eden were was pumpkins. Was pumpkins. Um they were recruited by They were recruited by Pink to join the Good Alliance, but only had a little context of what they had gotten into. Uh, while lost in the Nether, Toby was hunted down by Dark Maddie and Dark Mousy, who intended to force them to join the Dark Side. Okay. I keep on pressing the wrong place. Force them to join the Dark Side. Uh, Toby... Okay. Here. Hmm. We'll take this. Okay, we'll drop this here. Okay. Toby got away, but later Dark Maddie snuck into the ravine in another attempt and was successful in infecting them. While transforming, Toby led Adam to the village where Maddie and Mousy were hiding out. Mousy then unexpectedly reached out to Adam uh, for assistance with a new entity named Mao, who seemed to be her good self. Uh, she also wanted help with removing the virus from her body and protection from Dark Maddie once she was healed. Um, with the sword in play and everyone on the dark side seeming to turn against Dark Maddie, there was one last fight to be had. Chapter 8. What is this chapter? Extra help! Chapter 8. Extra help. A strange woman with power similar to unknown, Chava, showed up at Pink's home. Chava knew of unknown, but since she was in a romantic relationship with him that ended poorly, she wasn't the biggest fan of his. She then offered her help in removing Maddie's virus and hoped for someone to trust her, which Pink and Adam reluctantly did. Uh, as, Mousy wa as Mao was attempting to help Mousy return to her good self, her energy began to fade. She requested Kano's help in talking to Mousy. Mousy felt betrayed by Mao for working with Adam and didn't working with Adam and didn't understand. Yeah. Uh, as Mao was attempting to help Mousy return to her good self, her energy began to fade. She requested Kano's help in talking to Mousy. Mousy felt betrayed by Mao for working with Adam and didn't understand why she was trying so hard 
to bring them back together. After an emotional confrontation, Mousy finally gave in and allowed Kano to use the antivirus sword to make her good. Uh, I'll just drop this on the last page. Well, okay. Not quite. Kano and Massey then went off together to find Toby. Uh, though Toby tried to run away, Kano got the final hit and they were cleared of the virus. Adam said his goodbyes and was once more summoned into his fox form. To finally defeat the virus, the last person to kill was Maddie herself. Final chapter! The, the final battle. Oh, it should have been the final fight. I can still change it. The final fight. Because that sounds... That sounds better. Okay. While the neutral forces across Eden prepared to fight, Dark Maddie made one final attempt to get people on her side as she no longer had any followers. She jumped tight at his house, but a very geared pink came to assist him. Uh... Okay. So what are you guys gonna do? What are you guys going to do in Eden? What do you mean? What are we... I'm just writing him- I'm just finishing this history book. Um, but after this is done, I'm not really sure, because I'll probably have, I'll probably have a little bit of time left. I'll, you know what, I still have, like, another hour and a half before I need to be off. Um, and this book is almost done, so... I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um, knowing that Maddie was desperate, Pink gathered the rest of her allies at spawn while they waited to ambush their enemy. I know Nunchava would be around if there were any complications, like Messi and Kano are coming on. Yeah. Mike get Kano on on Monday. Um, but I don't think Mousy will be on. Um, it'll kind of just... Well, we'll have the final day. We'll have the 13th, so that's next week. Uh, next Thursday. Every Most people will be on for the wrap-up party, but there won't be any more. Um, it'll just be us hanging out, seeing Eden one last time before it gets shut down, and, and all the fun stuff. Um... Okay. What am I? Uh. What am I doing? Goodness. I literally lost my train of thought. Um, but we're gonna. Okay. Knowing that, yeah, knowing that Maddie was desperate, Pink uh, gathered the rest of her allies at spawn while they waited to ambush their enemy. I know Chava would be around if there were any complications. Uh, during their planning, Tyser decided to burn down the forest around the area, something that completely unrelated to the upcoming battle. Uh, this chaos and blame game allowed Maddie to find Pink and her allies at spawn and launch a solo attack. Uh, unknown and Chava watched from above as Pink and Mousy targeted Dark Maddie and their friends. Supported them from behind. The duel against Dark Maddie was surprisingly smooth as Pink easily struck her down with the antivirus sword. I'll skip the page on that. Uh, no. Dark Maddie was finally dead, but she hadn't respawned as her good self yet. Chava was not pleased by this outcome. She claimed that there were other alternatives to saving Maddie's life that unknown had not disclosed. Maddie was now permanently dead thanks to the effects of the antivirus sword. Uh, and in- This is- why is this- move. Here. Okay. Why is it only playing? Why is it only playing Hollow Knight? <laughs> Um, in an uncontrolled state, Chava used her supernatural abilities to rain destruction on Spawn. The players tried to convince her otherwise, but Unknown explained that Chava had also been infected by the virus and needed to be taken care of. Um, he brought everyone to... He brought everyone to Kano's Ritual Circle, where he led a ceremony to rid Chava of her affliction. 
Where Chava once was, where Chava once was, Eve, her true self, appeared. She apologized for what had occurred, but no one was sure if she, but no one was sure if she could be trusted. But no one was sure if she could be trusted. Eve promised to help rebuild what she had destroyed. The community realized nothing in Eden would truly be the same. There's your book. Crap. 89 pages. You know what? Not that bad. <laughs> Not that bad. Um. Uh, so crap. I think I think we're good. We're just gonna uh, we're just gonna make sure that the books look the same. It, Eden history number three. So this is gonna be just making sure that there's no spelling errors. Are they gonna demolish it when you guys get out of this corrupted place that we thought it was a perfect place when it became a place of torture and death that nearly killed us all? Um, yeah, everything's gonna be deleted, uh, and then just like the very back bones like the very bare bones data is going to be sold off that's what pink is going to be selling but she has no plans to like continue like eden itself like continue the eden project um because she's done with she's done with that she needs a break um and what's it called yeah and so basically like my project is going to be like, my simulation is gonna be starting from scratch. And, but I will still have Kano and Nova to help, um, with their knowledge. Like, cause they know, like, what they did to make Eden. So, it's gonna be using, like, some of those same parts, but, like, adjusted differently and making sure that everything is, like, safe and, like, doesn't, it won't be, like, affected by a virus. Um, and obviously hiring people who I can trust. And yeah, but Eden as it is, is gonna be no more. They're basic. yeah, it basically is gonna be demolished. Um, nature is important to discuss with kill cows. I'm kind of glad that Eden's gonna be no more, but sadly we're all gonna miss you. Yeah. I know, I'm gonna miss you guys too, but you can follow me to other universes. Um, so, even though Eden Rachel will, her story on, you know, her streamed story is going to be ending, uh, there are Rachels in other universes who still exist, including the, the Dr. Rachel Quinn of Tundra, who is still very much a presence in that story. Um, Adam was very special. Random, random day, but my groove's asleep. Okay. My true circle. We won't forget that. Yep. Adam story, personality. Something another. Was there another? Was there a two sides? Two sides? No. That's just this book. Okay. Um. There's. I'm gonna, I'm just making sure I'm just going through the book to make sure that like there's no like the no words get cut off. <laughs> um it's like she was turn eaten as often. Brown explained universe but at the same time. It wasn't entirely clear. Essential elements would become permanently fixed. 
Can I do fan mail? See. Reverse. And the race has just begun. Okay. Find the sword. Can I just briefly. Where can I give them to help? Commanded. Main trip. You know what? It's, this is fine. Eden history number two. I don't even want to. The whole collection's here. Cool. We're all done. Thank goodness. They're done. I am not writing any more books on this server. <laughs> No more books. That's it. <laughs> um, did I miss anything in here? No. Okay. We are... I think we're done with the archive. I think this is all that we can do. I'm not... I don't really want to, like... Console books are fine, but I don't think... Unless these spots are going to be filled. Um... What do we... maybe we can put... Oh, you know what? Let's drop these here. Ano and Mousie's wedding invitation. And then this was Ash's final message. Wedding invite. Ash's final message. And so we can see more of the map. The map is the primary focus, and then you go over here and you see this. Cool. That works. I'm not touching this again. Um, unless I get another book. But I probably won't. Um, we won't forget that. Yes. Okay. Ooh, they added more here. There's been more added here. That's nice. Um, okay. What do we want to do? What is going on? Um, hmm. Is there anything else that I want to work on? So the books are done. So I can close that. Um, okay. Hmm. What do I want to do now? I can work on something Botania related. Um, do you guys have any suggestions for what I could do? Do you want to like a tour of the server? Because we've seen like everybody's places and we know that everybody's kind of like been working on stuff. We did it. Yay. Math is here. Oh. <laughs> Uh, little brother Matt. He's... he's a character. <sighs> okay, we're at least gonna go home. Um... I... Yeah, so we're gonna head back to the house. And we'll see what we wanna do. We can make something. We could start to build something. We could start to build our little Botania thing if we want. How's it been going from the outside simulation? It's been it's been alright. Everything's kind of been the same um, as it's been the past few weeks. We've all kind of been getting accustomed to being outside again. Uh, Fang is finally in the process of moving out. <laughs> so that way Kano doesn't need like for new people in his home. Uh, Fang finally found a place. And he's finally moving out. Um, Smash and I are still in the second guest room. But uh, hopefully we'll find a place soon as well. Kano, Kano's been going to see Mousy a lot. Um, which is, you know, which is expected. Um, Matt uh, finally moved in. Um, with Kano, he had been talking about it for a few weeks, but he finally, like, he finally moved in. Um, 
And what else? Goodness. Um, I finally went to see Mandy at her flower shop. And I started, like, getting contracts together for the detective agency, which is fun. Um, what else? Goodness. I, who did I see? I saw Nova recently. Uh, they've been doing okay. Um, they, I actually went to see the lab. Um, when I was, when I, on my way here to go into the simulation today, I, I saw Nova cleaning out their office and, and the, they and I struck a little bit of a conversation. Um, just about, like, what, you know, how things have been going for them, all that. Even though we did talk not too long ago, it was still nice to, like, have, you know, a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them. Um... What else? Who else did I see? I saw Max not too long ago. And I told Max that I was gonna... Uh... I was gonna donate to his charity. To his company. Which he really liked. It basically made up for the money that Lauren was gonna give to him. <laughs> but now... It's, it basically is coming from me. Um... So he still, he still gets money. But... You know, it... Yeah, it, it, so it all kind of worked out in the end. Um, who else did I see? I finally got to talk to Lizzie again, very briefly. Um, because she was working with Mandy at, that day, and I, she just happened to be there and I said hi. Um, who else? That's kind of been it. Everybody else has kind of been it. I haven't seen Lucinda. Um, I haven't seen Seth. I haven't seen Lauren. Uh, which is okay. But everything else has been fine. Um, oh, I'm gonna meet, uh, oh, something exciting that's gonna be happening. I'm gonna be meeting Kano's parents soon. Um, I know that he was talking, like, you guys kind of saw that, uh, from my perspective that he was talking about, like, having all of the family meet up. Um, and so Mousy's gonna be discharged from the hospital for uh for uh, for an evening so we can meet his parents so that'll be that'll be fun i'm looking forward to it um and they'll get to meet me and matt and i don't think they even met mousy so they'll be meeting her as well um not sure uh i Hmm. The only person who I want to try to, like, reach out to... Oh. Dang it, I still need to talk to Rhino. I still need to reach out to Rhino. I will do that literally right after I get out tonight. <laughs> uh, that's what I need to do tonight. I knew that I, like... I knew that I was forgetting something this past week. And it was Rhino. He's still gonna be so worried. I'm sure somebody's reached out to him by now. But the fact that it, it wasn't me probably is still a little worrying. And he probably is not, won't be, um, you know, re pleased that I've been coming back into Eden. He, he thought bringing it back was a bad idea to begin with. Don't blame him. But ultimately, like, it was, it was a good idea. Ultimately, you know, Nobody should regret what went down here. Um, because, like, we didn't know that Haven was here, and had they continued with Eden as it was and, like, released it into public or whatever, if they had continued, yeah, if they had continued with the Eden project in public, Haven would have turned up anyways. So it's not, it's not the issue of, like, if, but when. And I'm, I am glad that, like, we dealt with that instead of, like, random people dealing with it. And that's what really sucks about Max and Lucinda and Lucario. Lucario. I also haven't seen Lucario since. Um, yeah. It, that That's what really sucks about Max and Lucinda and Lucario and Lizzie being here because they were completely out of the loop of what had previously happened in Eden. 
So they were basically like the public <laughs> testers who were like unaware of what went down. Um, so yeah, I just, I feel bad for them. I still do. But I feel like they still got something out of the process. Um, I know that many of them didn't really have friends before, so they have that. Um, oh goodness. And then, um, what's it called? Uh... That's a really... This is a really big tree. This is a really big tree. I don't know. There you go. Is that still... Is that still connected? Yeah, there you go. Um... Okay. Okay. But yeah, they were using them as hamsters for it. I... I don't know. I mean, we expected... We all really expected this to go better. We really all expected this this time in Eden to go better. We didn't... We obviously didn't know that Haven was here. Um, we knew that probably that Mao was here. But Mao had you know, otherwise presented herself as somebody good. Somebody who was trying to help Mousy. But that was probably a call for help. <laughs> all of that, all of that thing was probably, hey, Mousy, I've helped you. Now you have to help me. Um, which sucks. Really does. Because how was Mousy supposed to know that her sister... <laughs> Maybe Levi faked her death? Kinda. That is kind of what happened. So, basically, the story with Mao is that she was Mousy's sister Morgan, right? She came into Eden, um, I guess to help her, you know, prevent her death or whatnot. Because she was ill. And so she went to the simulation. Um, and Levi took advantage of that. He brainwashed her into loving him. Um, or she fell in love with him and she was, like, you know, bad to begin with, but, um... Goodness, what is up with... This is another really big tree. Um... There, and then... Goodness, jeez, okay. There. Okay. Uh, and then, um, and then once she was in Eden, she was part of the beta group. And during beta, yeah, she obviously fell in love with him, um, one way or another. And he was able to manipulate her. And as beta closed, she got stuck in the spirit folder, along with Mirage and all the other spirits. And while that was going on, during the process when he was getting everybody set up for Eden as we know it, um, he did some, like, testing on her and Raj and, and turned them into the virus. Uh, and then the virus was, you know, then spread to Maddie, and Maddie became the primary carrier of that. Um, and then when she died, the virus was obviously still around. Yeah. So. That's, a. Uh... That's my take on everything. That's what I th that's what I think happened. Um pretty set in stone kind of story. Like it just makes sense. It just I I don't know. It it doesn't really make sense. I like I hope the story itself is like pretty straightforward. But also, it doesn't make sense that, like, Mao, like, would turn on her sister that fast. Um, he was responsible for this to happen because he had a backup plan. Yeah. So, 
He even confirmed at the dinner that she and Mirage were not set up as a failsafe, but it was just kind of a side effect of Levi's testing. Um, and she just happened to be here uh, because she was here. Um, and it had nothing to do with Levi, you know, planting her. But it was just kind of, you know, if if Eden were to come back, then there's this virus that's still here. And there's nothing they can do about it until it's completely destroyed. And that's, and that's, that's that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're chopping down this. We can make something else, Botania. We could, we could make, we can make something else, Terra Steel, because we have, we have enough for, we have enough to make something Terra Steel. Off Mansi. Uh, no, we'll do mystical items. Terra. Oh wait, wasn't it you could use, you could use this overgrowth seed, right? Never mind. I gotta self touch that. Well, dang. Do I have another overgrowth seed? <laughs> Do I have another one? This is so much memories to burn. It truly is. Um, okay, it doesn't look like it. Let's bring this and this. Um, okay. Get the Ring of Thor. What does this ring, what does this ring do? I don't even remember what this does. That makes more sense for it to be in there. Okay. Yeah, there's- I mean, there's- I mean, we completely got rid of the other worlds. I feel like the other worlds, like... As much as this version of Eden means so much to me as a person, um, the other worlds just have so much more sentimental value. Like, I join this and I am aware that, like, one day we will get out. But at least with the others, I didn't know that that day would be our final day. You know, I didn't know that when, <laughs> when we went through the end and we defeated Levi in his lair, I didn't know that was going to be the final day of Eden. I didn't know that everything would be lost after that. And it's just... <sighs> it's very sad to watch all of this hard work be destroyed. But... <sighs> My hope is that I will be able to make something that honors the legacy of Eden. While also the legacy of Eden, while also just being a good place, being something new and original. I'll really miss this place. I'll be here one last time before the big wrap up party on Monday. Um, the memory I want to burn is about Brooke's expiration, Levi erasing your memories, the corruption, Eden, and Levi. Yeah. Brooke's expiration was very sad, considering we didn't even get to say goodbye. Both her and Yasmin, we, we never got to say goodbye to them. You know, we were fortunate enough for Ping to bring Matt back from the dead. And thank goodness for that, because he's my brother now, and I, I, I would not wish for anything to happen to him. And... With Brooke and Yasmin, it just, they had no, they had no chance. They had no shot of even, like, being around another day. Same thing with, with Logan and Paramore and Zack. 
they didn't even have a chance. They like, they like gave up. According to his Kano's history book, they gave up. Or even saying goodbye to Para. Yeah. Yeah, them as well. You know, it's just, didn't even get to say goodbye. It was just here one day, gone the next. You know, and at least with Para's, it was, Para's was traumatic. They like had like a heart attack in front of us and expired there. Um, and it was on the same day that everybody else was captured in Old Eden. And like, yeah. Yeah, it was just, just a lot. And with Toby, like, we didn't even know that Toby had, was, was dead. We just hadn't heard from them. But I, I guess, I guess they, I guess they weren't, <laughs> I guess they weren't as lucky. Did you see him get a heart attack? Well, I didn't, I didn't see it. But I was like, I was there. I was in the area. I was with Ash and, and Fang when that went down. Um, so. This is also a really big tree. So, yeah. Um, okay, what else can I make? What can I make? What do I want to make? Ooh, I can Bifrost. I can totally make Bifrost. Two Elementium, Dragonstone, Pixie Dust. Two Elementium, one more. Two Pixie Dust, one Dragonstone. Okay, cool. So let's drop. Oh, I need two of the Man of Steel. Two of these. Toby's dead because you thought he or she would be alive. Yeah, uh, we thought we thought that he would be. We thought that maybe he would survive. We thought that he came out of Eden with us, but that's not the case. It seems. Um, Exidos, there, there, Bifrost. I can make Bifrost now. Let's see how this works. So if I pointed, yo, I got the power. I got the power. I can just, that's cool. That's cool. I should have made I should have made this sooner. Toby was expired on December 14th. Yeah. And then it's going away real quickly. Nice. Okay, and then I can shoot it back up. Then I can That would be crazy difficult to walk on, but Oh, it shot all the way up here. <laughs> That's super cool. I like that. Um, ooh, can I mine by Frostbox? No, I can't. Okay. That's fine. Okay, what else can I make? Now I'm excited. Now I want to make something else. Uh, ride. Simon and Bottle Spell, Finding Cloth. Any enchanted item. Okay. Um, vitreous pickaxe? Making glass blocks will yield them as items. It's like cheap silk touch for glass. Oh, no. Ten people that were once players here didn't even give them proper goodbye. Yeah, I mean, we have the, uh, we have the memorial for them, but... That's, you know, it's not... <sighs> That's honestly the most that we can do, besides for reaching out to their families and stuff. Which we have for some of them. We don't really know a ton of information on everybody. But at least for the people that we can, you know, I know that Brooke's family was alerted. That was probably the first people that were told. And then, um, and then Yasmin. I don't really know. I don't think Yasmin had a ton of information on her. Um, we were trying to find out about that Luna character, the Luna person who they were referring to. Um, but I don't quite remember what went out of that. Um, okay, what else? 
and guy spirits. Um, extrapolated. Useful for fluid quick, quick. Uh, you can't make it. You can't make that a lens clip. Mana blaster. Okay, I don't have a mana blaster, but I can make one. Mana diamond, Maruna mana TNT, living wood, pulse mana spreader, living wood, living wood. Uh, I don't, don't want to make that. I have no per. There's no purpose in that. Ooh, a virus. Oh, fine. I don't. The one, I don't want to spread another virus here. All about Luna seems like we didn't get any information about her. Yeah. Yeah, because when it came to... Well, Yasmin expired, and then Toby wasn't themselves. So I we never got anything about it. Um, Which kind of sucks. That we didn't get to... Get into that. Um... Oh, these are all the other things that we can get from Gaia. Um, okay. What else can we make? Cosmetic. Third eye. Third eye is a sensory uses mana. Okay, don't want that. Tiny planet. Drink it when it clears. It goes snow. Um. Unless there's only one person that has information about her, and I think you know who I'm talking about. Levi? Do you think Levi has information about Luna? I don't... I don't think so. That doesn't seem right. Tona Girdle, no. Um... The spectator. Victor's headband that allows us were... Uh, no, because I already have a head thing in terms of the diva. There's turn attackers. Those hostile mobs. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't think Levi would know anything about Luna. Not that I really want to ask. Not that I really care. <laughs> um. Well, kind of would make a cool sword. Uh. I don't have any... I guess I could go to the end. But I don't really have, like, a need for that. Um... Luminizer. Okay, don't need that. Star call The Star Caller is the... Oh, you combine a Terra Blade to make a Star Caller. I wonder if Gabe has any Ender Air bottles. That I can make a Star Caller from. Not that I don't really. Terra played. Star caller. Uh, one swing swung the blade, summons a falling star from the heavens to the point with the reader. That's really cool. Probably because Leafy was a part of Eden, so it's highly confidential that he might know who she is. Well, I mean. I don't know, but I don't- I also- I also don't know if Luna was somebody that Yasmin put on her profile upon coming into Eden. Like, all of us had- I didn't have one. Um, but most people- like, I didn't have one going into Eden, but most people had, like, gave their profiles. Like, gave, like, very basic, like, summaries of who they were and what they had done. Um, in their real lives. And it doesn't really make sense for Luna to be a part of Yasmin's profile. Um, maybe the only thing is maybe Luna could have been an emergency contact. Um, that kind of would have been the only thing. Uh, corporea, no. Natural apparatus. Uh, I don't, none of these. Flora challenges. We're just gonna... I got this and that's pretty cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna sleep. Sleep. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just I don't I know I know that Levi probably had access to the um Levi probably had access to the files, but um I don't really know how much he tr I don't know how much he truly knew about everybody. Um Let's do another one. This will be our last trade. I don't want to do this too much. And then we'll bring everything else downstairs. There we go. That's also a massive tree. <laughs> okay, we'll bring all of these. There. And then I want to, uh, maybe in the, this last hour, I want to make a little, like, a little base thing there. Um, to, yeah, to maybe store stuff. Little cute, cute little place. So. we. Um, let's put away some seeds. Let's put away bone meal. And then we'll put away some of this. Sweet blossom saplings. Why are these sweet? I got different ones? Huh. Okay, I'll put the saplings in here. Interesting. Uh, these are planks. These are logs. Well, that's completely full. Turn all of these into planks. Planks. Logs. Yeah, we got a lot of that. Um, okay. What do we want to do now? Um, first I'm gonna store some of this away. I'm gonna put that in. Let's start putting some of this stuff away. I'll put away torches. I'll put away book bag, the jewels bag, shelter boxes. Let's put away this. Um, we'll put away the panic necklace, claws. We'll keep our mana. Uh, we'll keep these these away because we won't be making anything we'll put away we'll store whisper away um and then we'll have our backpack off we'll keep it in our inventory we'll also have our yeah, this works. Um, and so that way we can place this in with the other stuff before. Um, take this off. So that way we can keep the chair seal on us when we leave. Okay. I'm gonna look one more into this book. <laughs> This was before we even... This was before we met Haven. This is... This was Haven. <laughs> Adam said the Mirage was not a bad person. She's not. She wasn't a bad person. But it didn't, yeah, because that was Mirage. Um, Mirage was watching our counter virtual circle. We've been duped. Everyone is somehow connected through someone else in Eden. There used to be a virus. We think that Mirage could be involved in this virus. Even if we take down. This was back when we thought that Haven, and I still don't think Haven knew, like, 
everything. I think Haven was bluffing a lot of the time. Because in that final battle, like, she didn't really expect us to be able to break Gabe. So... There's, there's like, two flies now in my room. Well, okay. Who's Haven really? What is she capable of doing with us? She has these open threats. But she is she able to physically harm us? Can we harm her? That's a no from kind of both. We were able to make her mortal just for a, a time because she is just mortal. And so was Levi. They were just mortals who pretend to be gods, but they were really not gods. Was Mirage placing the signs below to tell us her plans? Is the firewall connected to what's going on? Did Haven sabotage the firewall? Yep. All yes. <sighs> she snapped. During the screams in her head. We never found out about Zoe! That's what I really- That's what I- We never found out about, like, who Zoe was. I'm gonna have to ask Kano to look up her profile. Or Nova. I'm gonna ask one of them to look up her profile because, like, I'm now- Because she was in the same position as, like, Dr. Poe and Adam all this time. She was just, like, stuck in the Aether. Stuck in the Spirit Folder this entire time. And she probably got awoken in this past version. But then she, like, went missing and we haven't seen her since Haven's defeat. And that's just very sad. She doesn't know Lauren or any other cutters. She could have made the program trap. Nope, that was Jonathan. Uh, she was probably implanted with some memories that she didn't actually do. Um, she could have believed that she was a coder, or she could have worked under Elizabeth, worked under Eve, um, as a as an assistant or something, and dealt a little bit of code. But I I don't think she had the level of malicious intent as Jonathan did. She's an AI. Yeah, she's definitely an AI. Um, she can't say certain names. Raj is the virus. Leave it claimed he was the one who made the virus and maybe he still was. Well, he was because he corrupted Haven. Um, and the corruption at spawn was definitely Haven. It was her doing because it was a side effect of her just being the virus. <laughs> Um, so I was wrong on a few things, but maybe the antivirus sword will bring her back to a neutral state. That was when we were looking for the antivirus sword the second time around. I can't believe that the antivirus sword was the, <laughs> was the solution to our problems again. I don't know, something about, like, it seemed, it just seemed like, it seems kind of weird how coincidental that was. That we could just remove the virus from Haven with that sword again. Not again. I mean, they removed it from Maddie, but now it was like the real deal. <laughs> Not that Maddie's virus wasn't real, but, like, this one actually affected Eden as a whole, instead of just the player. Mirage may have planted close to her and Haven's plans at the sign of the cafe. Yeah. Well, that was kind of true. Do you have... Do you know any leads about where Matt is? Zoe, Tobias... Tobias, too. Now that Toby's dead, we don't have anything on Tobias. And we had this whole other Levi's group and Lauren's group. What is for plaque above Levi and Lauren's office in the Serenity Tech building? What is forbidden is precious. That's what was there. That's what we saw in the. I knew that, like, I knew that sign looked familiar. The one in the, the one lab building when we went through 
the Haven's little test thing. I saw that sign, and I, I knew that it was familiar. And then... It ended up being the, the wording on... Mirage's TNT that Levite gave her. What is forbidden is precious. I agree, Levi. I agree. Funeral for Adam. Levi seemed justified after Athens' death. Levi was at the scene when Mirage killed Adam. Search for Gabe's location within Levi's house. I don't think we're gonna be able to find that. We, like, scoured his files last time. And we- I don't think we found anything. Which sucks, but we'll, like, we'll get vengeance. We'll- we'll help Gabe out that- that way. We'll be able to find who did this to him. Whether or not it was Levi. It might have been Levi himself. Maui's Haven. <laughs> uh, ability to change her identity. Mao hasn't been seen in the Aether since Beta closed. Mao was Levi's favorite and could have had access to the same permission as he does. Why else would she have brought Mao's memories back to her name, Mao Lauren? See, these- see, this makes so much sense. This made so much sense. Like... When we were trying to find, like, when we were trying to learn Haven's identity and all these clues were getting dropped, it made so much sense. Updating theories. Lauren wasn't actually the one. It was Levi pretending to be Lauren. As he was, Levi was behind everything. Could have given Mirage the TNT. Yep. Jonathan is the coder. Haven is Mao. She was the failsafe. That's not true. Uh, Levi and Mom, uh, Mom and Levi were in a romantic relationship. Levi showed interest, more interest in final days. What is that? Oh, that was Lucario's thing. That was Lucario's statue. Uh, data notes. <laughs> Haven is Mao Morgan confirmed. <laughs> Not that the last two times I'd said in this book weren't confirmed. Uh, she's planning revenge on Massey for abandoning her. Mao's dead. Jonathan Robin made deals. Haven might not have power. Manny made a deal with Jonathan for him to help us get out. Converse with Jonathan while he's using the console to simulation. Haven has been defeated. Um, she used leave against us, but he's good now. So Eden is shut down. It's gone. Haven was also. The virus and by using the anti virus sword on her, we cleared the bedrock from spawn. Haven and Mirage were Levi's as subjects to create the initial virus that eventually spread to Maddie. <sighs> Which it was still good at computer. But some people can't still have one more week. 
Let's, uh, let's build a little house. Let's build a little rotania shack. Um, we'll use blossom logs. Because why not? Because we have all of these blossom things and stuff. Um, we can use these. Let's go up. nighttime, so let's sleep. That really got rid of everything real quick. <laughs> there is still a lot of leaves. And now we're picking up bunch more logs here. Crap. Cool. So we've got these. I don't really know what I want to do with this. How do, so how do they actually, how do they do it over here? How do... Oh, here. So she used amethyst. She made a little point. And did, did kind of like that. Okay. up there. Oh goodness, I got stuck. Oh crap. You need it somewhere a little bit more open, like here. There we go. Um, let's do hmm, do I have any of the blue? I'll drop another one of these here. And we'll do another one of these back here. And we'll do... Oh, that's so convenient. Oh, that's so nice because it can take away all these, like, shitty little shrubs. Can get rid of the little shrubs. Thank goodness. out a little bit. 
Man, I really wish I had thought about this uh, earlier. <laughs> I really wish I'd thought about this, like, before. I, uh... Well, I was building stuff. And then... this nice clean hillside I can literally put something here <laughs> um let's do this oh no it's chopping down this I mean, at least we have a bunch more. <laughs> we have so many. Um. Oh, it's totally gonna get it here. Uh. So let's grab. It's also gonna totally get it there. Okay, now we need more of the bone meal. Did I get any more? No. Um, also, what do I want to drop in as... So, getting more bone meal. Boop, boop. Let's plant some other types of trees too. We'll get a couple of willow saplings. Let's get a jacaranda sapling. Do I have any of the uh, spruce? The. No, we don't have any of those. This over here. Um, and then here. They're touching a little bit. And then, what else? I want to place this here. We'll do a jacaranda right over here. They're very pretty. Very pretty. And then we'll do this one down here. And then this one down here. Oops. 
And then making this all nice and pretty here. And we'll do another serene blossom. Oh, that's a weird... That's a weird looking one. I don't like that one. There we go. That one looks better. That looks better. Let's go sleep. Sleepy sleep. Uh, grab this here. And we're just now trying to make our place look nice on the top here. And that if that means putting a bunch of trees around, then sure. How does this look on the map? Um, okay. You know what? I don't like how close that is. I'm gonna chop all that down and get more saplings. And I got a whole bunch of saplings from it, so I can plant even more of these blossoms. Let's put this down. Put this down. Also this. Get rid of this one, and this one, and this one. It's here. Here. Okay. Let's drop one of the sweet blossom ones right there. Much better. And we'll do another one right here. Cool. How does that look on the map now? Uh, so wait, who? Refresh this. Okay. I'm also going to save. Oh, it just saves the picture of it. I want to save the data. Um. Hmm. I wonder if I can figure that out later. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna figure that out later. Uh, let's drop another one over here. Save to screenshots and crafts. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out. Actually, I kinda wanna check that out now. Oh. Gotta grab my other computers, cause that's where it's saved to. Um, excuse me while I try to find this. Screenshots. Uh, 
Oh, wait, no. It is on this computer. It is on my PC. Because where else would it be? Why would it be on this one? Okay, so if I look... Let me refresh that. If I look on here, and then I look on screenshots... Does it, does it get the whole... Oh, it's the entire map. It's my entire map. And you can zoom in. Oh, dang. That's sick. I didn't know you could do that. Also, what's over here? That is... Gavin Fang's place, I think. No, that's... That's somewhere else. I don't know where that is. Huh. Jeez, okay. Then down here is... Actually, I actually want you guys to look at this with me. I'm very interested now. This is not what I was expecting to be doing today, but it's totally fine. Um, so I'm gonna switch to here, do this. Sure. And then, what did you redeem? Hydrate, thank you. Um. Display. Media source? Browse. Screenshots. Okay, so that's clearly not... That's a video. Remove. And then I want to add a... A display capture. No, don't want that. Because that's the entire thing. Goodness, I don't know how to do this, I guess. Image? No, but I want it to be window capture. Window photos. Does that work? Properties. Photos? Screenshots? No. Photos. Can I do it? No. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work, unfortunately. Um, go back to game. Cool. Dang, that sucks. But I, I guess I'll share it on my, uh, I'll share it somewhere. I'm very interested in how that worked out. Okay. Cool. Um, and that way when everything is done, I can save it. Cool, 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 cool. All right. What do I want to do here? I think, you know what? I honestly think that looks really nice. I think that looks really good. Um... We have some back here. Okay, what else do we want to put down? Do we want another do we want another tree? We can drop another willow tree here. I like that. And another one down here, maybe? Yeah, I think that looks really pretty. Um, this place just brought back good memories. Yes, it does. I remember when, like, my I was like living by a forest in you know Arc Two. I remember the little like little cabin. That was a nice little cabin. I like that place. Um. 
We're just gonna build something real quick here. I don't know what, but I want it. Well, cool. perfect dimensions. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool, that looks right, and then we'll do... We'll make some of this. Make some slabs. Like that. It's been so long since I feel like I've done any building. <laughs> Cause it it has, I think. It really has been that long. Okay, everybody sleep. Yeah. Then wrap that there. Do this. Here, and then... Do I have leaves? Can I get leaves? can um so looks this looks nice let me strip that it's clearly that looks better this looks good um and then I want to grab some glass and then I'm gonna move this over here. Ooh, uh, I want to move this one. Dang, it's not centered. Never mind, it's centered. <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna grab this. We're gonna put it right here. And then we're gonna put our runic altar. Um, we'll put our runic altar right here. We'll put Endo Flames and a spreader. And our. Oh, we moved it. We put it away. We weren't quite done. We weren't quite done with the Botanian stuff yet. I was a little too. Quick on the jump. Also, since we're down here, we can grab glass. To get... Oh, I could have made it out of living wood! Mmm. I need to take advantage of the Botania materials. Okay, well, we're gonna grab... This. Alphamancy. No. Uh, natural apparatus. Anything? No. Tree index. Uh, the resources. Okay, so we can get dream wood. Living wood into dream wood. Dream wood. 
Elementium, Wand of the Elven Forest, Pixie Dust, Dragonstone, Elven Quartz, Elf Class, Mana Glass into Elf Class. Okay. We should do Dreamwood. Okay, and then that goes in there. There we go, and then that there. We'll do also that. Um, put that away. Keep on to these. I'm gonna sort that. Um, yeah. Mana glass into elf glass. Ah, man, should I use living wood? Or Dreamwood. I can still replace it with Dreamwood. Living Wood. Oh, I do have some Dreamwood. Cool. Let me... How does... Um... Okay, I'm not opposed to it. Oh, well, now I need more blossom logs to make into. Gotta get more logs to make more dream wood. No, not dream wood. Living wood. Yeah, that works. And we got like. Half an hour, 45 minutes, or half, not, 15 minutes to an hour. Okay, so we'll get this around here. So we'll do that, and then we'll get... Ooh, I should just make it out Dreamwood. I should just make it out Dreamwood. Okay. So we're gonna toss the living wood. And then we'll do take half of that. Did I just suck it up? Because I didn't turn it into mana glass first, did I? I think it just sucked it. Well, dang it. Um. Oh crap. Got mana glass. And then I want to turn this into... Elf glass. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, that works nicely. <laughs> and here... We'll make... Dream wood. And then we'll do... This. Here. Yeah, I think this needs to be taken. To Hold on, I'll just destroy it. Destroy all of this to make it a little bit different. Made out of Dreamwood instead of that. Oh, it is broken, though. Okay, and then I can make this into Dreamwood Planks. Oh, that would look really pretty. I want some Dreamwood Planks. 
More blossom logs here. Can't believe it's a Thursday and I'm the only one on Eden and the only one who has been on Eden today. That's so strange. Okay. Living wood. Make all of these into planks and then I'll turn half of these into slabs are you building something yes i am building a little uh i'm building a little little gazebo kind of like what mousy did for kano's botania i'm doing that for mine as well and so that way i can have something nice uh and Visual, yeah, like visually nice in my botanic area. Okay. So we'll do... Yes, this looks so much nicer than the red. I so prefer this. Here. This is very pretty, very much my aesthetic. I very much like this. And then we'll have here. And then we'll have one layer around. And then we'll put the glass in between. We'll do that. I'm not the best builder, but I can make something up real fast. Okay, so we'll do... If I do this, and I can do... Oh, I need more. And I can do there. Um, and then here. I want to use that. And like that. Nice. Oh, this is really pretty. I really like this. I think this will be my final Eden build. Hold on. Okay. Gotta add a few more. There. Um, and then we'll do some of this, because I'm not going to need that many. Sort that. Actual blank 
works. Break that, break that, so we can put actual planks. Are you gonna be taking pictures of all the place in Eden? Uh, yeah, that's the plan, but I am uh, not gonna be doing that right away. Hold on. I'm not gonna be doing that right away. I'm probably, I'll probably do it when I get the chance. Um, so let's do, okay, I need to go down and get more glass. we go, and then... And then look at that, that all looks very nice. And then I can build something here too. I could technically build something here. Um, oh, and then I should also put the bed right... Take the bed, and I'll drop that right here. Um, I'll actually place that right there. So that way I know. Okay. Uh, okay. We can get more. Uh, and then I'll put the chest right there. Let's go over here. We'll make. Ooh, I can make Dreamwood chests, right? Is that a thing I can do? No. No, no dreamer chest. That's fine. And then I'll put one on the other side. I'll grab everything I can from here. Extract. Here. And then take more extract. And then, oh, I used a lot of, uh, I used a lot of my mana. But good thing I can refresh it. Good thing for that. Okay. And then we'll do... Break down this top chest. That on the other side. That would be there, but that makes more sense. Okay. Extract. Basically everything else will go into this chest. Here. More mana. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. And then... Grabbing this. Extract. This very man of pearl next deal. Perfect. And then I can go over here. And then grab that and put that in here, living wood. Um these away. I'll put the chest below. 
I'll put uh what do I wanna do? Hmm. I think this my area is looking good. I think it needs one more tree. I think it needs one more tree, like right over there. Kind of in that, that little pocket. One more big tree. Kind of want a blue one. Let me see if they have a blue one. Hannah and Mousy, do you have saplings? Do you have cool looking saplings? Yes, you do. Don't mind if I do. Grab three of these. Grab three of these. White cherry flowering oak. Don't mind if I grab two of these. Okay. Do they have azalea? Okay. Cool. So... Oh, and there's a yellow one over there that I never chopped down. I could literally get saplings from that, but I never chopped it. I also don't have freaking bone meal. I didn't bring it up with me. I'm also going to have to get more glass. I need more glass to make more elf glass. Because it stole my glass. The portal stole my glass. I'm upset. That's fine. Surely 30 will be enough. Okay. And then also bone meal. Hopefully it take two stacks of that. Hopefully that'll be enough. Okay. First we're gonna zoom over here. I'm gonna grab this yellow one. The terror truncator. And we're gonna put a sunny one back where it was. We're gonna grab on our, all of our other sunny blossoms. And then we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna plant some of our sunny blossoms. And we'll do one back here as well. Oh, wait. I think we need a little bit more back. And all of these are blossoms. Uh, all these are the blossom ones. Um, all these are blossom logs. Did it- oh, it stole half of the- And then we'll grab another yellow, drop that here. That should be fine. Another jacaranda. I uh, kind of want to get rid of this pink one. So I can put freaking hacking frick. Cool. Well, I have bad omen now, but oh well. Do I have milk buckets? No. I just can't get near villagers. Okay. 
I'm gonna put another one of these. Oh, there's more? Are there more of them? More enemies? Oh, they're underground, I think. Uh, we're gonna drop right down here. We're gonna put a blue one. How do I- I need- I need to find a way to, like, refresh this map. Because it's not quite updating. We'll drop a yellow one here as well. Hmm. Nah. Yeah, a little bit more this way. so many saplings out of that. Crazy. Crazy amount of saplings. Okay. Um... How clustered- they have- they have theirs pretty clustered. Let's do a sweet one here. And let's do... I'm gonna have to be going in a few minutes. But that's fine. I'm pretty much done. Um... Hmm. Okay. And then I'll do a... Let's do a... Flowering oak here. No! God dang it! I didn't get any out of that. I got a regular oak. Um, let's do a blue one here. Look at how pretty this looks now. Oh my god. <laughs> um, we'll do a ye another yellow one here. It's probably gonna cut some of it off. You cut this entire side off. Oh, dang, it got rid of the pink one, too. Uh... Oh, well. Good thing you can replace it. So many saplings! How pretty. Is 
This feels a lot nice now. I like this quite a lot. You have Mousies and then you have mine. Look at how pretty that is. Nighttime. Daytime. Okay, now I feel like I just need a little bit more over here. <laughs> And another sweet one over here. Oh, fine. Never mind that. Cool sleep. <laughs> Creepers don't burn. That's fine. Uh, get rid of this. Replace it with... Perfect. Is there this one little... little section? Okay, we're gonna get rid of this. And then we're gonna replace it with... What color do we need over in here? Yellow? Sure. That's right, it doesn't explode. Cool. I think... I think we're... I think we're done. I think that's it. Look at how nice it looks. Path that goes off to nowhere, but... Nah, we'll change that. Anything we need to- oh, wait, I still need- I still need to do the walls. I still need to do that. Okay, uh, let's do... Manda glass, and we'll turn this into... Elf glass. Literally one more back. Ah. I never okay, I never picked it up. Okay. Mana glass. Toss that into here. Alpha glass. And there. And now we're done. And then we'll get, what's it called? <laughs> what am I, the, what am I looking for? Um, torches. 
Torches, torch, torch. Okay, and they put the other torches away, but that should be fine. Okay. <sighs> this reminds me of the park that, uh, I hope Sebastian and I are gonna see soon. Hopefully that's soon. He's been talking about it. Um, and yeah. I hope that it all goes well. Let me put some stuff away. If you got a few more minutes. And then here. I found a little little oak chest. Oak. Glass. Look at all these serene blossom leaves. So many of them. Okay. And, uh... I think that's gonna be it for the stream today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we're gonna raid Kano. Kano's playing, I'm pretty sure, the Stanley Parable. Uh, once again, we were raiding him. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on Monday for the final day of lore for me. So, um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Bye!